hi friends today i am going to take a lecture on probability theory unit 1 for uh, pg mathematics students uh, this is the first unit uh, called uh, random variables right what is part probability theory probability theory is a part of mathematics which is useful to discover or investigate the regular features of random events for example if we toss a coin uh, it has two sides so the sample space is two what is the probability of getting the head means we have the probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 so now we have to discuss about what is random experiment a random experiment is one in which all outcomes of the experiment is known in advance and you know, all the outcomes outcomes means if we uh, toss a coin we have know the what is the outcomes of this coin like head or tail the second one is any perform of the experiment results in an outcome is not known for example we have uh, tossing a coin or throwing a die or dice uh, uh, the sample space of a die is 6 so what is the sample space the sample space of every possible outcome is called a sample space for example a tossing a coin means we can get head or tail so two events so that's a sample space of your coin throwing a die means we can get the six faces one two three four up to six so that is the sample space of the coin so sample space of the elements are called the elementary events and we denoted the symbol as e and and we take the subsets of e as e1 e2 e3 e4 for a die we take the elementary events as e1 e2 e3 up to e6 in that cases there are two events is there one is possible event and another one is impossible event the event containing all the elements of the set e is called possible events what is the impossible events uh, in the throwing a die can we get seven no because we can get one to six only seven is an impossible event and for example two three or four that's a, that are possible events and seven up to, uh, above six is called impossible events right boral field what is boral field two events a and b are equal if a is contained in b and b is contained in a so if a is contained in another event of b and b is contained in a then a and b are equal the properties of the borel set field is that the set is that of random events contains an element of the set e what is e e is called the elementary events and the set z that is borel field can also contain the empty set the empty set what is the symbol of the empty set that is phi okay now let we can discuss about the disjoint elements two elements a and p do not have any common element of the set e is called disjoint elements but let the alternative sum of union of the elements a1 a2 a3 up to so on we can write as a equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n a i that is that we have already known about the sets and the subsets so what are the results we have to discuss about for every event the following equality is true what are the inequality what are the equalities a union a equal to capital a well we were well known about this one so what what is the equality condition that a union a is contained in a and capital a is contained in a union a so next one what is the union of the set a and the elementary event e we get e and uh, the third is a union of the empty set the set a union and with the empty set we can get capital a now we have to discuss about the difference of the event the random event contain only those event which is belongs to capital a1 but not belongs to a2 is called the difference of the event for example we can be denoted as capital a equal to 
a1 minus a2. So, now we can discuss about the next definition about the product that is intersection of the events. The event capital A contains only those elements which belongs to all the elements a1, a2 up to is called the product or the intersection of the event and we have to denote the symbol as capital A equal to the product of i equal to 1 to n cap a capital A n where a n is the subset of capital A. Now the intersection properties uh, we already discussed about the union what is a union a means a here also a intersection a equal to capital A. Then but second what is the intersection means the two elements common elements are called the intersection capital E E means elementary events intersection of A we can, we can get capital A and A intersection of the null set equal to null set that is phi or empty set. Now next one what is the complement the difference of the events capital E minus A is called the complement of the event capital A and we have to denote the symbol as A bar that is A complement A power C. Now what is the A complement occurs if and only if A does not occur. A does not occur by the property of the Borel set Z of random events A complement is a random event. Then the definition of random events. A set capital Z of subsets of the set E of elementary events with the Borel set R is called random events. The hints we have to take on us uh, the sequence A n where n equal to 1, 2 up to if it is non increasing that is decreasing sequence the first element is greater than the second element. So, we have to de define as A n is containing A n plus 1 the symbol C that is belongs to C. This one we have taken as A n is containing A n plus 1 and the product of non increasing sequence that is the product of the non increasing sequence is called the limit of the set. We have to understand the limit of the set and we have written as capital A equal to limit n tends to infinity capital A n or otherwise the product of n equal to 1 to infinity A n. Now we discuss about the non-decreasing sequence. The sequence A n of non-decreasing which is the first element is less than the second element that is A n is contained in A n plus 1 or A n A plus 1 containing A n and it is written as A equal to summation of n equal to 1 to infinity A n that is limit n tends to infinity A n. If we take the probability of both sides we can get probability of A equal to limit n tends to infinity probability of A n. These are the basic definitions of probability theory. We, uh, I hope you are understand what are the definitions that we can remember. Now we go through the axioms of the probability. Right. Number one, first axiom. What is the to every random event capital A there corresponds a certain number P of A is called probability of A which satisfies the function what is the range of the probability of the given event capital A that is 0 to 1. That means P of A plus P of A bar is equal to 1 or otherwise we can say P of A equal to 1 minus P of A bar or P of A bar equal to 1 minus P of A. In the second axiom, the probability of the sure events, that is possible events, are always equal to 1. Number 3, the probability of the alternative of pairwise of exclusive event is equal to the sum of probability of that events. That is, the sum of probability of events means summation of AK. We can take the probability as P of summation of AK. We have reproduced as summation K P of AK. Then this property is called the complete additive of the probability, Com complete additivity of the probability. Let us discuss about the point cap, some of the formulas as we know earlier, so P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. And 
P of A union B union C equal to P of A union B plus P of C minus P of A union B intersection C. And the third one is probability of summation of K equal to 1 up to N. A N is written as summation of K equal to 1 to N. Probability of A K minus the second term probability of A K 1, A K 2. Likewise, we have to go to up to A N. Now, we have to discuss about the elementary events. What are the elementary results of the elementary events? If the events A1, A2 up to An exhaust the elementary events, then the total probability of the given event is equal to 1. We already know the total probability of the given event is 1. Then, what is the proof? The events A1, A2 are the exhaust event to the set of elementary events. We know that capital E equal to what is capital E elementary events summation of so A, A K that is A1, A2, A3 up to A n. Taking the probability of the both sides we can get probability of E equal to summation K probability of A K. Then what is the total probability value that is 1. So probability of the elementary event is equal to 1. So we can take an as summation K probability of A K equal to 1. Now we can discuss about the uh, main event capital A with its complement A bar. So, the sum of the probabilities of any event capital A and A bar is 1. That is the proof of the second result. Let us take as what is A bar? A bar equal to elementary event minus A. So, we have to take the probability on both sides. We get probability of A bar equal to probability of E minus probability of A that is probability of A plus probability of A of A bar equal to probability of E. What is the value of probability of E? Already we know that probability of E value is 1. So, we have to substitute probability of E equal to 1. We get probability of A plus probability of A bar is equal to 1. Now, the third point. The probability of the impossible event is 0. The impossible event is Okay, let, let we can take A as an impossible random event and it does not contain any elementary event. Note that it does not contain any elementary event. Then we have to use the inequality A union E equal to E by using taking probability on the both sides probability of A union E is equal to probability of E. So probability of A plus probability of E equal to probability of E. We can take probability of E in right hand side, then we get probability of whether well, it is probability of E is 1. So 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So these are the basic definitions of the probability theory. This is my first session, first lecture on the probability theory unit 1. I hope uh, you will read all the definitions. Now uh, in the next lecture, we can discuss about this theorem. Thank you very much.